Hey guys, Ray here, and welcome to another GoPro Studios tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to color correct your footage, which is really important if you want to take your videos to the next level. So before we start, I'll just quickly show you an example of some color correcting I did in GoPro Studio and how much of a difference it makes to the footage. So here it is now. So as you can see, even some basic color correction can really change the look of your footage. So let's get started on how you can do this with your clips. Now before we begin, I'll just show you the clip I'm using. And if you don't have a clip you're going to use, feel free to use this clip. The download link will be in the description and it'll be good for you to just play around with. So this is the clip here. It's just a shot from Australia Zoo that I got the other week. So as usual, open GoPro Studio, click and drag to import your footage. Let's make this full screen. Now you can see if we select the clip, we can scrub through using the little, little scrub thing and get to the point where we want the clip to start. So I'll start it. I'll start a bit later. I'll start it about here and then just drag through until you want the clip to end. So I'll, I think I pan around us. I'll end it about here. Right, with a close up of us and the kangaroo. So now you can call this clip whatever you want. This isn't the full finished clip, this is just the converted clip. So I'll just call this converted clip kangaroo. Make sure that it's full quality source. So I shot this in 4K by the way. If you're wondering, at 30 frames a second, so that all looks good. OK, add clip and convert. Now this is only a short clip, so it should only take a few minutes. But once it's done converting, we'll get to color correcting. The first thing you'll notice is that it will automatically apply the ProTune preset for color correcting. And even though this can look quite good for some clips, I don't really like it at all. So I prefer to color correct myself and it makes it look much better. So now we can proceed to step two. So seeing as we're only editing one clip, we don't need to worry about a template or anything we just click and drag this to the timeline. So now you can see that it's automatically applied if we bring up this presets, if we scroll down. Sorry, it's automatically applied ProTune. So if I click this back to none, you'll see it'll go back to the flat footage, which is what I prefer to work with, but you can choose either way. Now the first thing we're going to want to do is find a point that kind of highlights the whole clip, so maybe somewhere in between. So about here would work well. So first the temperature. This changes just like it says the overall temperature of the video. So you see if we slide it all the way down towards the blue spectrum, the temperature of the video becomes quite blue, the overall look of the video, in other words. And as we slide it further to red, it becomes brighter and brighter. More ready yellow. So the neutral position for that is about here. And because it's sort of summer day, not summer day, we'll kind of up the temperature a little bit. Not too much, but just it's being quite fidgety for some reason now. But I'll try and get it up just a bit. Around there looks like it should work well. And now the tin. The tin you don't really want to adjust too much because it can change the video quite drastically. You'll see if I move it all the way down, it just gives a tint over the top of everything you've done. So normally I leave this quite neutral, maybe because the scene's quite green, I'll just add a bit of green in to bring out those green colors. Now for the main part of the editing, the image down here. So exposure just changes, it's sort of the brightness of the video, so if you see we up the exposure, the video becomes very bright and overexposed. And if we turn down the exposure, it becomes darker and darker. The only issue with GoPro Studios is you only have one exposure setting. So most other software, or more advanced software I should say, you can change the exposure of the, the darks, the mediums, and the lights. But in this, you can only have the one main exposure control. So normally, I turn this down just a little bit to bring out the colors. So there looks like should work quite well. Contrast again just changes the contrast between the colors. So if we turn this all the way up, 
you'll see there's quite a contrast between highs and lows and bright and darks. And if we turn this all the way down, it's very blown out footage. So again, you need to find a balance for this. Somewhere about there looks like it works. Maybe down a little bit. Uh, yeah, just about there. So color correcting is all about mucking around, finding the look that you want. And it's really based on whoever's editing the video. So some people like to really over contrast their footage. I prefer to keep it quite neutral, but maybe just a little bit of extra contrast. Saturation, again, just saturates the colors. People can go a bit overboard here and have their colors looking like, I guess like that, which to me looks way too unrealistic. So I like to keep my colors. You need a little bit of saturation, but not too much. There's a fine balance. And then sharpness, again, you can turn that up, but it gets a bit grainy. So for this clip, I think I'll keep it quite soft. It doesn't need to be too sharp of a clip. It's just a scenic little pan. So now if we scrub through, we can see we've finished color correcting this clip. Now I'll stop it here, and you can also use the split tool of the top. And you can see on the left is what it looked like before we did any color correction. And on the right is what it looks like now. So as you can see, if we glide across, before the clip was quite blown out, the colors didn't really pop. But now if we look at it, it looks much nicer. So once you finish that, all that's left to do is export your clip. So for this, I'll just call it kangaroo color corrected. Save it there. Now. I'm just going to export this as a 1080p file. It actually was a 4K file, so you can export it as 4K if you want to, but 1080p is fine. I'll leave this as my custom 45 megabytes a second, and I'll encode it as a H.264. So that all looks good, and we'll click export, and your clip should be done. So thanks for watching this tutorial, guys. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like below. Feel free to click on the thumbnail on the screen now to check out one of my other videos. And also don't forget to subscribe. I do have a DJI Phantom 2 coming in sometime today. So stay tuned for some aerial videos as well as some more GoPro Studio tutorials and other editing software tutorials. Cheers guys, have a good day.